All right, we're just inside the uh, front door, the side door of the RV now uh, at the steps. And as soon as you enter uh, the step area, on the left hand side, you'll see this panel here. And I just wanted to go over uh, the functions of these items. So this bottom one, the big switch, is your main RV on off uh, switch. So let's say you don't need the RV for a day or more um, or for a significant time, but you don't want to run the risk of leaving things on in the RV. Maybe you left a light on in the bathroom. If you do that, when you come back to the RV, your coach batteries are going to be dead and that's not good. So you'll turn it off here. Now, one thing to bear in mind, if you turn this off, it turns everything off, including the fridge. So if you have items in the fridge, you're going to want to consider that if you want to keep them cold. Um, and because the fridge is still running, you're going to need to make sure that um, you have power to the fridge. Um, so otherwise your batteries, your fridge is going to make the batteries dead. And that's not good either. Okay, uh, so you might, if you're going for an extended time, you might want to have a resource or an alternative for your food in the fridge so you can turn the fridge off. Okay, what else do we have? We have lots of lights. So we have living room lights and a whole bunch of other lights, outdoor lights, uh, all up here, uh, porch lights. This button here is where you extend the awning. Now, um, just a kind of a, a tip for you, uh, make sure your keys are out of the ignition uh, when you extend the awning. It's like a safety feature. So the last thing you want to do is drive down the road and be extending the awning, right? That wouldn't be good. A word on the awning. Do not, do not, do not leave it unattended. And especially do not leave it out overnight. If you have winds of, let's say, 25 miles an hour, which is not a big gust, but it's significant, the wind could rip your awning off or severely damage it. And that would be just a nightmare for you. You do not want that. Uh, they cost about $2,000 to replace, uh, and you don't want that uh, expense. So do not leave your awning unattended for any reason, for any length of time. All right, guys, that's these buttons here. See you on the next one.